you're ready. Coach, you just want to start off with just talking about your class in general? Yeah, really excited about this class uh, just from a, uh, an overall, looking at this class uh, overall, we wanted to address uh, some, some depth. Uh, we wanted to get more athletic. And I think we were able to do that in this class. We signed, you know, a number of receivers, defensive backs, um, running backs, just skill guys. Uh, I think last year, the difference between this year's class and last year's class is last year we had a lot of, you know, linemen, big guys, and and uh, uh, but we also have you know good linemen in this class too as well. But we just wanted to concentrate on skill. We were able to do that. It's the biggest class that I have uh, signed or, or we have put together since I've been here uh, at Emporia State. Uh, we were able to also get, you know, added some depth in areas such as specialist. You know, you get a deep snapper, you get a punter, uh, all those things. And, and um, you know, I think it uh, uh, really is a, a class that these, these players, and this is kind of, important to us is really finding our kind of guys. Guys are going to fit in here at Emporia State. Uh, it's not perfect, but I uh, feel like we got those guys. And I think it's always, you know, our staff watches film uh, on all of our guys that commit, all of our guys that sign. Uh, and it's nice to know when a coach is sitting around the table and they're talking about this, this player, uh, we're not talking about him athletically. You know, I mean, the film tells us that. What we're talking about is, is the other factors involved, you know, blue collar uh, mentality, tough mentality, uh, you know, great teammate, uh, multiple sport athletes, uh, all those things, um, you know, great foundation at home. Uh, all those things are important to us when we're, we're, we're trying to put a class together. And I thank my staff, I can't thank my staff enough. They work extremely hard uh, and are very dedicated uh, in making our football program better each and every day. Uh, I'll, I'll ask you about the, the three guys that stood out to me that are come from our viewing area. One of them you get right out of your back, backyard, right? Parker Leeds out of Emporia. Um, is that kind of nice to get a guy from, from Emporia? And, well, I think, you know, if you go back through all our years uh, that I've been here, we've always tried to sign uh, a player from Emporia. Uh, and I think Parker is, is uh, I think the best is in front of him. You know, I think he's got a really high ceiling. Uh, he's got a long way to go. I think he'll be somebody that will, uh, you know, if he, he is patient and has the, the right type of work ethic, which I believe that he does, you know, I think he can develop into a player. Um, so, but that's kind of, you know, you always want to start in your own backyard, you know, and then just kind of work out. And then uh, Jacob Carver, I believe, if I get his name right, Rossville. You've, you've had some players from Rossville we before, have. right? Is that you see what those guys have provided you, and then you kind of want to get more guys from that program? Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, me and Coach Thomas played together uh, here at Emporia State, and, and I know what type of program he has and the type of coach that he is, and I think is when you're out recruiting, it's important to look at the high school program, where the player's coming from. And we have had success with players from Rossville and uh, just lost a great one in, in Dawson Thomas. Uh, so I think it's always important to, you know, if you can find good players at a high school that you're familiar with or you know what, how they've been coached and uh, how that program is, I think it's important to get guys like that. And, and Jacob, I think he's playing in the Shrine, Shrine Bowl too as well. So, again, he's another player I think that if he's, a, if he's patient, he, he has a chance uh, uh, to develop here and be, be a good player. Just go back to our history of, of you go back and you look at our rosters throughout the years, these are – the way we do it here, and what works for us is getting them here as high school freshmen and, and cultivating them and developing developing them. That's where we've had our success. And we talked about Yancey a little bit, but can you just talk about what stood out from him? Uh, I've seen just the, the raw talent. I told I, I thought he might end up at K State. Uh, does that feel like almost almost a steal that you guys got him? And how fired up were you when you, when you found out that he was? Gonna I, I was fired up. I mean, extremely fired up because again, he's a what I would say a wire to wire guy, you know, we, we knew about him in the spring. He came to our camp in the summer uh, and then he committed to us before Christmas. I mean, what else can you say? Uh, look, his film speaks for itself, but I think it's all, again, I'm gonna go back to finding our type of guys. 
I think he has those intangibles that we want here. Uh, he is a leader. He is a leader. Uh, he comes from a football family. Uh, athletics are important in his family, uh, and he already, to me, uh, exemplifies leadership qualities. So yeah, I'm excited about his athletic ability. Don't get me wrong, but really, I am just as excited as all the other intangibles that he brings to the table. Curious about a guy like Jace McDowell and kind of what he what he adds to the recruiting perspective. He just came here. He can say, hey, I, I went here, here's, here's how I grew or what ha happened in my career. How much does that help? It's huge. You know, I mean, Jace has a story to tell uh, in his journey. Uh, his journey was he wasn't highly recruited. Uh, Jace, again, played running back. His film, he was a good linebacker, don't get me wrong, but, you know, his film he's a, was showing him scoring touchdowns. Okay, that's what's fun. That's what's fun to put on film. And... Uh, uh, we recruited Jace, and yeah, we, we knew he was a good tailback, but we wanted to play him at linebacker, and, and uh, he, he developed here. Yeah, he developed quicker than some other players, but he did that because of his mentality, his mindset. You know, again, finding our type of guys, uh, and it's not always perfect, but I think Jace has got, you know, that story that he talks about being uh, from a small community and, uh, here in the state of Kansas and, and coming to a place where, you know, we may not have uh, all the fancy things, but he loves this place. And he tells a story about that and how important this place is to him. And, and that ultimately that's what we want too, is when our guys leave here that they, they want to come back here, you know, and, and it means something to them and it meant something to them to play uh, with that E on their jersey and on their helmet. And, uh, it's important for him to come back and continue to support the program, it, it, you know, as we move through the years. So Jace is a perfect example of all that. Am I allowed to ask about that? That was a long answer. That was good. Am I allowed to ask about the new contract? You yeah. good with that? that yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's fine. fine. Correct me if I'm wrong. First multi-year contract mm -hmm. for a coach in ESU history. What does that mean to you that they trust you and that they want to have you lead the football pro program for years to come? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a sign of, of the changes that are happening here, is how I look at that. And, and um, you know, I love this place where I went to school at. I played here. It's where I got my start at. Um, you know, and it's always a dream to, dream come true to, you know, come back to my alma mater. Uh, and now, you know, for them to say, hey, we want you to uh, kind of show that uh, in regards to stability, uh, which I think is important in a football program. Uh, you know, there, there were all, already some talks in place uh, about getting it done. And uh, again, I think that shows that the, the changes, you know, with uh, the vision, uh, you know, and forward thinking. I mean, that's, uh, that's something that I think even when you look at, I think alumni can look at that and say, you know, they are changing things there in the athletic department. Uh, in a positive way. I hope so. I mean, there may be some guys be like, well, I wish he wouldn't have signed that contract. But, but uh, no, I, again, I just go back to, I think that just shows the uh, commitment uh, to athletics and that uh, it's a sign, you know, of, of a new vision in place. And, and it's an exciting time right now to be uh, not only a part of our football program, but just the entire athletic department in general. Bringing that back to the signing day, does that help you on the recruiting trail, knowing that you've got something here a little bit more stability? I think it's something that I don't know how much it helps, but I think it's something that at least it gives a point of topic of conversation. Uh, if if a player's trying to make a decision on, you know, if he's laying out pros and cons, you know, uh, and if he likes me, I would think he'd be a pro. <laughs> uh, but uh, so yeah, I think it's important to to say those things. I mean, I've been doing this a long time and. You know, there, there are places that you could say, well, hey, is that coach going to be there next year or whatever? Is he on the hot seat or, you know, so, you know, if you like a staff and you like a university and you got guys that are going to going to stay there, then I think that, uh, you know, hopefully it does make a kid lean the way of coming here. What about the success you had this past season, bowl game, how'd that play into recruiting? Well, everybody likes winners. We say that all the time. Uh, you know, it just, it just, uh, it's definitely something, again, topic of, of conversation. It's nice to be able to, 
say, you know, we've been in the postseason, I don't know, seven out of the last ten or whatever it is, and, um, you know, talk about bowl wins and playoff wins and things that we've done the last ten years that have never been done uh, here at Emporia State football in the history, uh, in the 123, 124-year history. So, uh, you know, that, that does. It goes a long way. Um, you know, and that's one of the things that we, we talk about. At the end of the day, we, we also just talk about the things that are important to us as a staff and as a program, and hopefully uh, players, you know, if they're going to come here, they're going to they're gonna buy into those things, and they're going to believe in the same type of, of uh, you know, core values that we do as a staff and as a program. The off season for you going all right? Golf, Gucci, man? No golf. Anything else? No Too golf? cold. Uh, won't be starting that until May. Uh, but just uh, I'm ready. Recruiting is 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 it, it goes by really fast. It's busy. You know, you're on the road a lot, and coaches are gone in and out of the offices. It's hard to get the whole staff together to have a staff meeting. Um, you know, and then you have visits weekends. You have back to back weekends, and that's another thing too. I'd love to you know want to say thanks to. There's a lot of uh, not only administration that have helped us during this process, but also teachers, uh, instructors here have, have come and helped. And I think that's huge. You know, this is a team effort. Uh, it's not just about us. It's about everybody uh, here and uh, getting players here. But I'm ready to change now and kind of gear towards let's concentrate on the guys that are here. And got a lot of expectations moving forward. And, and uh, we got to, you know, keep working hard. Did you pick the playlist for the videos? Uh, I did not have anything to do with that. It should be just music, I hope, right? What are we bumping you know? these days? Last time you said Gucci, man, I got some yeah. music to put you on. Oh, man, you would ask me right now. That's the thing. Like, I've been, uh, I have been, you know, and you're like, well, Coach, why don't you listen to that while you're driving? Well, I'm usually not driving, all right? So like, they won't let me drive. You don't get the odds. They, they, they don't let me drive, all right? So I let the guy who's ever driving, I'm like, hey, you can listen to whatever you want to. You know, I'm always on the phone checking you know, to see what's going on in recruiting, always on the phone. So yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't upgraded that playlist in a while, but I'm gonna need to do that. Work on that. I'll send you some good songs. Do, yeah. Good. We're good. Thanks, Coach. All right, you bet. Appreciate it, man. You country music guy.